What if the God who created us made contact with our world? Because that's what we need, isn't it? We don't need to speculate what's there. What we need is for the God who created us to make contact with the world. Because if that happened, things would just radically change. Uh, we would go from speculation to revelation. Our God is not a cosmic killjoy. You'll discover this as you read through John's Gospel. God is not up in heaven, uh, kind of looking around thinking, oh, there's a bit of fun over there. Let's stop it. You know, there on the heavenly radar, there is fun and amusement. Let's put a stop to that. He is not saying that. God wants us to enjoy life as it was intended to be lived. Jesus Christ has gone to the cross and now forgiveness is available to us. He has opened his arms and he can say to any one of us today, come as you are, put me in charge, and forgiveness is available, but it's not cheap. What was the cost of our forgiveness? It was Christ himself suffering on the cross. It is not so much that you need to go to church to be a Christian, it is that you get to go to church. It's not a really bad thing. It's not that you know, you've got this great contract and then you look down at the small print and there's something in the small print that you go, ah, I knew it was too good to be true. There it is, I told you, it's down in the small print. It's not like that, it's not that you understand more about Jesus and you think, wow, this is amazing, free forgiveness, intimate fellowship with the God who created me, eternal life, wow, and then you think, ah, small print. Look at that, I've got to go to church.